Okay, so let's just let's just stop a second and talk about the biggest news that we have heard in camera history for around 10 years. I'm going to say a decade, let's say that. I'm talking about the Canon R5. Personally, I'm going to let you know straight away. I have pre-ordered the Canon R5 and then as soon as I get it here in the UK, which is looking to be around late July, late this month, I will do a Canon R5 review and then a Canon EOS R5 versus regular R, just so you guys can see the difference. Now let's just go over a few things, specs about the R5, and let's talk about why I didn't choose the R6. Okay, so there's obviously a few things that we already know about the R5, it's that it does 8K raw, uncropped, 4K in 120 frames per second, uncropped in 10 bit with dual pixel autofocus. Yeah, the, the specs are absolutely mind blowing and they didn't even dumb it down so much for the EOS R6. The R6 does do 4K. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on whether or not it's cropped, but what I do know is that it does do 4K at 60 frames per second. It does 1080p in 120 frames per second and it's still got Im image stabilization, in-body image stabilization. So some crazy specs that have been carried over from the R5 and then brought down to an extremely uh, pleasing price. Now let's talk about price for a quick second. The R6 comes in at 2,600, wow. Uh that golden hour light is... Ah, oh, I just wrecked my shoes. Okay, so the R6 comes in at around £2,600 in the UK, 2500 And then the R5 comes in at £4,199. Uh, yeah, big price difference, but not a very big difference in specs. So it's looking like for a lot of people that the R6 is going to be a much better option in terms of value. But if you are one of those people that literally just wants the absolute best of the best, Maybe you're not even a pro photographer. Maybe you've just got a lot of money and you just want the absolute best of the best. Obviously the R5. But for those people that are looking for bang for buck and the, those people that are looking for absolute value from everything, R6 all the way. It's got dual card slots, but one of them is not CF Express like there is on the R5. So we've all heard about the specs. Now, why did I choose the R5? Well, I wanted to future-proof myself. I, to, when it comes down to buying something as expensive as that is, I always say I need to future-proof myself. Now when I wanted a new laptop I knew I needed 16 gigs of RAM to future-proof myself. Now when is the next time that I'm gonna drop around nearly four grand on a camera? Not very soon trust me. So why not go all out and just get the best one and future-proof myself and not have any regrets? So there's your reason for me buying the R5 over the R6 future proof baby but let's not ignore the r6 the r6 has some incredible specs and anybody who's looking for value should 100 percent go for the r6 for those of you who own a one wheel you will 100 percent know what i mean when it gets starts to get scary when you just start to get that death wobble that bump. Now let's address those overheating issues as well. Let's face it, the camera's doing 4K in 10 bit internally, uncropped, dual pixel autofocus. You're gonna get some overheating. I don't think it's gonna be anything major. Oh look, there's a scary dog. I don't like vlogging out in the open in my in where I live. I feel like somebody who knows me is just gonna be staring at me the whole time. Oh, that is wrecked. Water. Have I got the plug in? Oh, I don't have the plug in. You know in golden hour sunlight is literally just too much for you, so you have to just get out of the way of it sometimes. That's what I'm currently doing at the minute. So let's talk about write speeds. Do not be afraid of there being very low write speeds on the R5. I don't personally know exactly what they are, but all I know is that on the R, it does 1080p in 180 megabits and 4K in 480 megabits. And if you're having to put a CF Express, CF Express card in the new camera, you can expect pretty high write speeds. So when the camera finally does arrive, do expect a studio sit down and we'll go through the whole menu of the camera. We'll go an in-depth look at how it all works, the new menu system and how you pick frame rates. Go on. <laughs> you know when people at junctions have to wait for me on a one wheel? <laughs> Anyway, that's all I wanted this video to be. Just a, a quick info video. Like, I am getting the camera. I will have it in my possession by the end of this month. Ooh, you know when you hit a hard bump. I will have the, I will have the camera in my possession by the end of this month, and you can expect an in-depth review of it, footage of it. All my vlogs are going to be filmed on it from that point on. Uh, 
on us just expect a whole lot of R5 footage when it comes, trust me. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff that you already love to do. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.